Hey everyone, my name is G here, and once again, it's that time again. It's time to do another WWE Wrestling Prediction video, because this coming Sunday night, we have Extreme Rules. Yes! <laughs> now, Extreme Rules will take place this Sunday, uh, July 15th, at the P PPG Pants Arena in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, this is the 10th event under the Extreme Rules for, uh, chrono uh, chronologically. <laughs> oh boy, I have problem pronouncing that word. Uh, normally with Extreme Rules, we have a lot of matches with a lot of stipulations. Uh, probably some, uh, I think there's a uh, Iron Man match. Uh, there's a Tables match. There's probably a, a whole bunch of stipulations where we have a lot of Extreme Rules. Uh, in it, so we're not going to have any mostly traditional uh, matches in, in this uh, card. And again, this is a dual brand uh, uh, pay per view because that's what they're doing all this year. So we're going to have uh, both the SmackDown and Raw rosters on there. And uh, let's go with my predictions for Extreme Rules. Uh, let's see, the first match I'm going to predict will be for the Raw Women's title. We have the champion Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax again. Did we do this already? I thought this was going to be over back when we saw this match at WrestleMania, I believe. But, uh, hey, they're doing this again. Uh, from what I understand, that uh, Ronda Rousey is going to be at ringside for this matchup. So, and uh, these are extreme rules. So anything's going to go in this matchup between these two ladies. And I expect it to be a very physical matchup. And obviously Nia Jax will take advantage of her size against a very uh, little... Alexa Bliss, but Alexa Bliss can hold her own a, a, a most of the time, but I think she's going to, I think we're going to see Ronda Rousey get involved in something in this matchup because there are extreme roles. It wouldn't surprise me that she might cause Nia Jax to match or might, Nia Jax might uh, uh, prevent her from doing something and she will lose the matchup. Uh, but I think Alexa Bliss will retain the title some way, somehow, and we're probably going to get a triple threat match at SummerSlam between uh, Alexa Bliss, Nia Jax, and Ronda Rousey. That's what I believe this is going to go for. Next, for the SmackDown WWE World's Heavyweight Champion, we have the, cha the champion EJ Styles will go up against Rusev and Rusev Day. <laughs> now, I actually like what the WWE has done, <coughs> excuse me, has done. Uh, with the storyline that make Rusev to be this domineering man, and uh, it's pretty fascinating uh, for a guy that's been uh, over for the past few months with the Rusev day, him and Alex English. But unfortunately, I think AJ Styles will once again come up to victory uh, despite a very dominating performance between Rusev, because I believe they got something special planned for AJ Styles for SummerSlam. So I predict AJ Styles will retain the title. Uh, pretty good matchup, but I believe AJ Styles will retain the title. Next up for the Raw Tag Team Champions, we have the uh, the leader of Worlds, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, uh, versus the B Team, which is Bo Dallas and Curtis uh, Curtis Axel. Uh, I guess it's going to be a pretty good match, and I think the the B Team will do their best. But I believe that uh, that Bray Wyatt and Matt Hardy will keep the titles out, and they will remain the Raw Tag Team Champions. For the WWE uh, SmackDown Women's Championship, we have the chan current champion Carmella versus the uh, Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. Now, it got a nice stipulation on this one. James Elworth will be suspended above the ring in a shark cage. <laughs> it's, good. it's funny shit. Uh, I, I don't know what they're going to do with this. Uh, I, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I would like to see Asuka win the title, but I, for, for some reason, I, I think they're saving that for SummerSlam. Something's going to happen, and Carmelo is going to remain the, the title holder. He's going to retain the title holder. I don't know. Somehow, Ellsworth is going to find a way to get out of the cage, do some insane stunt that will help uh, Carmelo win the title. And I believe that's what's going to happen. Now, of course, it would surprise me, knowing WWE, the uh, Oscar will finally win. But I believe they got something special planned. And they're going to hold off Oscar finally getting the title belt uh, at SummerSlam. So I believe Carmella will retain the title. Now, for the uh, WWE SmackDown Tag Team Champions, we have the challengers, the Bludgeon Brothers, Harper and Rowan, versus... 
the reunited team of Team Hell No, and that's Daniel Bryan and the Monster King. Now, it's been great to see these two guys back together once again. They were absolutely fantastic a few years ago, uh, not only as a team, but in their matches. Uh, obviously, Daniel Bryan and King were very well together, and uh, as much as I would like to see them win, but I think the Bludgeon Brothers will retain the title. Uh, this will probably be their best competition that they have since they decided to put these two together and just dominate everybody. I think, yeah, they'll probably dominate everyone. They won't dominate this one, but I believe they will still retain the Tag Team Champions. In a 30-minute Iron Man match for the WWE Intercontinental Champion, we have the champion Dolph Ziggler uh, with Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins. Now, I believe this is the match they will, this is going to steal the show. Uh, Dolph Ziggler is an incredible performer. He's a great in-ring worker. It's a shame that the WWE does not uh, push this guy because he would be an excellent champion. I think that there's something that they believe that they don't like about him, that he does not get the push that he deserves. But he's definitely going to shine. And, of course, Seth Rollins, we all know how great he is. Um, I don't know what's going to happen in this matchup. It's kind of hard to predict where WWE is going to go. Uh, it's a 50-50 split as far as who's going, to re who's going to win his title. But with Drew McIntyre there, I believe he's going to cause interference and he's going to allow Dolph Ziggler to retain the Intercontinental Championship. So I'm picking Dolph Ziggler. In a matchup, I don't know if anyone cares or not. <laughs> it can't. <laughs> we have Roman Reigns versus Bobby Lashley. And I, I just feel sorry for Roman Reigns. I know I've said it before. I say it again. Uh, I really don't know what they're going to do in this matchup. Um, I think, I don't know if I can predict this. I would think this is going to be a draw or a double countout. I don't think neither man is going to win because I think and what's going to happen at SummerSlam because, again, I've never seen a champion not wrestle at all since WrestleMania, and that's Brock Lesnar. I mean, he, we have not seen him since WrestleMania, if I got that correct. Uh, yeah, I don't believe we have. And I believe that they're saving him for SummerSlam, and we're going to have a triple threat match between him, Bobby Lashley, and Roman Reigns where you have three of the biggest bulls in the raw roster go go up against you know go up against each other and the winner will be the universal champion and uh that was uh probably be a great match i think and that's what the wwe is planning and uh it'll only be interesting to see who's going to win this matchup but i really cannot pick a winner because i don't know what wwe is going to do um you would think that uh they will allow roman reigns to win because uh, uh but i don't think he really needs it it wouldn't surprise me if bobby lashley wins but then again, that would taint some of Roman Reigns' uh, energy that they've been trying to push him as a babyface all this time. Um, you would think that they would allow Roman Reigns to turn heel because I think he would play well off again, play well as a heel instead of him pushing as a babyface. But it seems like WWE creative team doesn't know what to do with him. It's like we're going to do it this way, but he doesn't get the fan with the fans pops that they expect him to get. They try to put him in situation to get the fan pop, but they still don't get the fan pops. But uh, it's to me, it's kind of a 50-50 split. I think the match is going to end up at a at a double count out, a draw. Someone might get disqualified. You know, I really just can't pick a winner in this one. For the WWD, for the WWE United States Championship, we have the current champion Jeff Hardy versus Shinsuke Nakamura. I believe this is going to be another excellent matchup between good two superstars. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura has uh, really done well as the heel. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with him uh, right now this moment since they not allowed him to put on the title. Uh, Jeff Hardy just won the championship. I can't see him losing it to uh, Sinski this quickly. So I'm going to say that Jeff Hardy is going to retain the United States Championship. And another singles bout, we have uh, Finn Balor versus Baron Corbin. Uh, Baron Corbin is now is this constable Corbin uh, supposed to be doing some uh, some dirty work for Stephanie McMahon, but he's also going to participate in this matchup. And I really have no clue where this match is going because uh, they really have not built the storyline between these two. Uh, some of the matches just thrown together. Um, I, I think more likely Finn Balor will win this matchup because uh, because they're already doing some doing some other stuff with Baron Corbin. So I believe that Finn Balor will win the match. 
Next up in a steel cage matchup, we have Kevin Owens versus Braun Strowman. <laughs> the Monster of Men versus Kevin Owens. This is a steel cage matchup. Now, I believe this is going to be an interesting matchup. Uh, Kevin Owens will try to do his best to take advantage of the steel cage. They have a very brutal fight up. Kevin Owens is pretty good in these matches, and he's actually a pretty good wrestler. But I believe Braun Strowman will win the, win the matchup. He's just too big. He's just too powerful. And finally, in a tables matchup, we have The New Day versus Sanity. Yeah, The New Day versus Sanity. I have to take a look at my notes here. Yeah, we have The New Day versus Sanity. Now, the Sanity people is, is pretty interesting. They have done a very good job in pushing these teams. And uh, this is going to be a tables matchup. Now, it would be interesting to see where they're going to go with this because... The New Day, they're, have, they've proven how popular they are. I think they're still going to be popular, uh, even if they win the match. So i actually going to give this match to Sanity because they probably need this more than the, more than the New Day do because you're trying to push these new tag teams, uh, this new tag team that's come over from NXT. So I believe Sanity will win this matchup. So there you go. That's my predictions for uh, Extreme Rules. <laughs> Should be an interesting card. I believe we're going to have two matches they are going to steal the show. We're going to, I believe that Dolph Ziggler, Dolph Ziggler and, uh, a, and uh, uh, Seth Rollins will steal the show. I believe Matt Hardy and Shinsuke Nakanora will steal the show. So I believe those two on the card uh, will uh, steal the show. I believe this is a pretty interesting card. It will be nice to see what's going to happen as uh, this, will probably, this is the last pay-per-view before they get to their uh, third biggest pay-per-view of the year, which will be Summer Slam. <laughs> so, what do you guys think of my predictions? Do you agree with my predictions, or do you have your own predictions about what's going to happen at Extreme Rules? Well, leave your comments on your comment section below and tell me what do you think is going to happen at Extreme Rules. <laughs> well, that's my video for today. That's my video for today. And if you, if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up because it does help the channel out a lot. And this is your first time here. Please hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. That way you can come and enjoy the horror experience with me, the horror miser money gene. As always, all my social media links will be down in the description box below as well. Once again, my name is Lamont Smith, better known as the horror miser money G. And always remember, horror rules. <laughs> See you in extreme rules. I will have my, uh, Results video on Monday. <laughs> Peace.